Welcome back. Today we are talking about addition and subtraction, various unknowns. We are looking at part, part, whole problems. We only have two different types of problems to go over. Before we start our video, please hit that like button if you are enjoying it. Without further ado, let's get into it. We are here with our part, part, whole problems. We have two different types of problems we need to go over. I'll start off with the whole unknown. Now, a quick review for our part, part, whole is we have and our whole is represented by two parts. So let's look at our problem and we're gonna fill in what we know. Jack has 38 toy cars and 40 toy cars, toy trucks. Jack has 38 toy cars and 40 toy trucks. How many toys does he have? So I'm not looking for cars or trucks, I'm looking for the I'm not looking for cars, I'm not looking for trucks, I'm looking for toys. So in order for me to find out my whole, which is my toys, I have to know my two parts. One part is cars, the other part is trucks. So how many toy cars do I have is 38, how many trucks do I have is 40. So my whole is unknown, which means my equation is this. 38 plus 40 equals question mark. The reason being is my whole is for toys, but I have parts given to me and I have to solve for the whole. My part for cars is 38, my part for trucks is 40, and my whole will be the sum of those. Let's take a look at our, all right, let's look at our problem. second problem. This time we're gonna look for a part that's unknown. I had both parts given to me, my whole was unknown. And Let's see what problem. part is unknown. Jack has 38 toy cars. 15 are blue and the rest are green. How many green toy cars are there? So let's look at that. I have the rest underlined. Well, we don't know that part, but I do know that he has 38 cars and I do know that 15 are blue. So I have my whole, which is 38. So my whole is 38. One of my parts is that 15 of them are blue. So I have 15 blue. How many are green? Well, the rest are green. I don't know how many there are. So all I have to put is question mark green. So my equation will actually be 15 plus question mark equals 38. Now, why is it 15 plus question mark equals 38? Because part plus part equals my whole. Just like up here, I had 38 plus 40 equals my whole, which I didn't know. But down here, I have 15 plus question mark equals 38. So, we're gonna get into how to solve these type of problems. Let's go to the next guy. Sean has 164 crayons in his school supply box. 126 crayons are red and the rest are blue. How many blue crayons does Sean have? So, out of those 164, 126 of those crayons are red and the rest are blue. So that means I have a part, part, whole. Why? Because I have my whole given to me. He has this many crayons in his school supply box. So my whole is 164. My part is 126 crayons are red, the rest are blue. So these are red, these are blue, 126. This is my question mark. Therefore, in order for me to solve this, my equation must be 164 minus 126 equals question mark. Let's take a look Sean at Sean has problem. 126 red crayons and 138 blue crayons. How many crayons does he have? So this one is giving me two parts. How do I know it's two parts? Because my whole is how many crayons he has, not the colors. So my whole is all the crayons, parts of my crayons are the blue and red ones. So my 
part for red is 126, my part for blue is 138, my whole is unknown, so that means 138 plus 126 equals my question mark. This problem is a whole unknown because my whole is unknown, but my parts are Alright guys, unknown. here is your pause and practice. Give it a read and let me know if it is whole unknown or part unknown. Check back in to see if you got the right answer. Alright, Maya has 46 crayons in her supply box. 22 crayons are pink and the rest are blue. How many blue crayons does Maya have? So I know that she has 42 crayons in total. How do I know that? Because that's all she has in her supply box. Out of those 46, out of those 46, 22 are pink. So I don't know how many blue there are. In order for me to find out how many blue there are, I have to do 46 minus 22 and that gives me the final answer. Alright guys, that is the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the viewer and enjoy these. Until next time, see you guys later.